They're not being required to wear masks, even the children who have been confirmed positive. Suzanne Hilborn couldn't believe what her teen was telling her. And that one of the girls had coughed in another student's face and yelled COVID as she ran away from her laughing. Suzanne says administrators told her there were a few cases. We were led to believe there was maybe six or eight cases. We're learning today that number is more than 50. Strangely enough, most of those students uh, were not exhibiting symptoms at all. Director of Yavapai Community Health Services, Leslie Horton, says it started with two students testing positive last week. Now officials are tracking who's had contact with infected people on campus. Working with especially those staff who go home at night. Horton says her agency has provided the school with protective gear and the hospital will be there tomorrow to do more testing. We do feel like it in this situation, it is a better option to keep the girls on campus. I think it should be taken seriously. Suzanne hopes her daughter will be okay. I want her to come home, but I but she's never even been tested. So is she going to bring it home to us and all of our other kids? Mingus Mountain Academy tells me today it is no longer accepting new students while it sanitizes the facility, regularly screens students, and checks employees' temperatures as they arrive to work. Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.